In this overview, we'll take a look at our price to sales investor strategy, which we base on the methodology outlined by Ken Fisher in his book, Super Stocks. The key fundamental investing insight here is this. Since earnings can vary year to year based on things that have little to do with the prospects of a company's underlying business, sales can be a better indicator of future success. At a high level, the strategy looks for stocks with low price to sales ratios, coupled with strong earnings growth, high profit margins, and low debt. It also likes companies with significant cash on their balance sheets to help endure challenging times. The source and the evidence behind the model, as I mentioned, this is based on Ken Fisher's book, Super Stocks, and his research on the price to sales ratio. Fisher has built one of the country's leading independent registered investment advisory firms, Fisher Investments. The investment thesis for the model is this. Stocks that trade at discounted valuations relative to their sales that are also growing over the long term and have strong balance sheets with things like excess cash and low debt can make for excellent investments. Okay, so let's take a look at the price to sales investor model run on Validia. As I mentioned, this is based on Ken Fisher's book, Super Stocks. It's important to note that Fisher's strategy has changed over the years, but what we do here at Validia is we extract the strategies directly and as they're outlined from books or academic papers, and we don't alter them. And that's what we did with this Fisher strategy. So to start, the first step is to determine if stocks are trading at a reasonable or attractive valuation. So the strategy uses the price to sales ratio as the key valuation metric. Here, non-cyclical and technology stocks that have a price to sales of 1.5 or below are considered good, but anything below 0.75 is considered excellent. Cyclical stocks are analyzed using the price to sales. And what the model looks at are stocks that are trading at 0.8%. These are considered good. Anything below 0.4% are considered excellent. Next, the model looks at the level of leverage and debt that companies have. So it seeks out companies that are have a so it seeks out companies that have a total debt to equity ratio of 40% or below. Research and development is also important, especially for technology and medical related companies. So this model takes into consideration the price to research ratio to determine if the companies are trading at attractive valuations relative to the amount they're spending on research and development. Growth is considered, so this model looks at the long-term inflation adjusted EPS growth rate and it wants to find companies that are growing long-term earnings at 15% or better over time. Next, cash flow is rewarded. So the model favors companies that are generating positive free cash flow per share. And lastly, the model looks at profitability. So here, companies that have a three-year net profit margin of at least 5% are the ones that are included as top scoring stocks in the model. Investors looking for a value strategy that incorporates the price to sales ratio and other important metrics may want to consider Validia's price to sales investor model as a starting point.